First confirm the number 1 steering gear. This foot is directly in front of the mech. Take out the number 11 steering gear. The rudder is facing back, and the steering gear is installed. Servo 12, same rudder facing back. Install the steering gear in. Next, install the shoulder junction. The intersection of these two needs to be clearly distinguished. Connect it in from this position. And then this junction on the other side is also installed. Then we latch it. Plug the latch in the very center of the junction. Take out the number 13 steering gear. Rudder will position inward. The rubber parts of the no 11 steering gear are pushed from back to front. Take out the number 14 steering gear. Rudder facing in. The rubber parts of the no 12 steering gear are pushed from back to front. Take out the pre-packaged buckle rubber parts. This is the hub position. Installed from bottom to top at the junction of the no 13 steering gear. Take out the number 15 steering gear. The zero degree direction of the rudder is perpendicular to the arm. Put ledges on the max hands. This is the pre-installed building block junction. Installed on the no 14 steering gear. Take out the number 10 steering gear. The rudder faces down and is installed from top to bottom. Take out the spliced shield and put it in for him. The sword of the mech is also installed. Now why the mech? Take out the no 11 steering gear first. After the steering gear is connected, reinstall it. Take out the number 12 steering gear as well. Put the line under the no 11 steering gear. Connect to the interface under the no 12 steering gear. After the wiring is completed, reinstall it. Take out the cable and connect it to the port above the no 11 steering gear. The other end is connected to the interface behind the no 13 steering gear. Take out another thread from the front interface of the no 13 steering gear. Connect to the interface on the no 15 steering gear. Take out a 3-pin cable, the interface above the no 12 steering gear. Servo 12, the other end of this wire. It is connected to the interface inside the no 10 steering gear. Take out the latch and fix it from the outside port of the NO 10 servo to the NO 14 servo. Front interface, take out another thread, connect it to the NO 14 steering gear. Interface at the back, take out the 3 2 for adapter, connect the 3 pin cable, take out another for pin line, connect to the other end of the adapter, take out the master control installed in advance. Some rubber parts have been installed on it, push from back to front from behind the mech. Take out the armor that has been installed. Install it in the front from top to bottom. Take out the head of the mag and install it. Take out the four flat lines of the upper body No. 14 steering gear. Connect to the F interface above the main control. If the interface above the master is an interface, it can also be directly connected to an interface. There is no difference between the two. Take out a four pin cable. Connect it from another port of No. 9 servo. Connect to an interface under the main control. Now the wiring of the whole body of the mag has been connected.